Hello, this is Paolo and in this video I'm going to show you how to use Smart IBL Maps with Reality4. IBL stands for Image Based Lighting and it's a great system for creating extremely realistic lighting. Basically we use an image to map all the lighting for our environment. Now these images, these IBL maps, are not standard images. These are photos that have been captured in a special way so that not just the RGB values are there but also the luminance values, the real light values. And they basically represent a snapshot, a light snapshot of a place at a certain time. By placing our objects in a scene and lighting them with IBL maps, we integrate these objects in the imagery, in the background, in a very natural way. So it, IBL brings a high level of realism. Now in reality we have not just support for IBL, but we go beyond that we have support for smart IBL. Now smart IBL is a system that was designed by the people at hdrlabs.com and so if we want to find a smart IBL map we go to hdrlabs.com we click on smart IBL and then we click on the smart IBL archive and this page shows up. Now in this page there are thumbnails. Each thumbnail represents a Smart IBL package. It's basically a zip file. It contains several files in there. And as you click to one of these thumbnails, the download will start. Now you can probably recognize a couple of maps, the Alex apartment and the Shirikawa Plaza. I hope I pronounced it correctly. These are in already included with the reality. They've been licensed. For this tutorial, I'm going to download the Helipad Golden Hour. I already downloaded it, so I'm going to just pause for a second so to give you the opportunity to download it and install it on your machine. As you download it, it will come as a zip file. I have this zip file in a folder called IBL. And so once I have it, I can just uh, double click on it and we'll expand. This is the folder. At this point, I don't need the zip file anymore, so I can delete it. Now, you might look at this folder and think, wow, there is so much stuff. Which file should I use? Don't worry about anything. Everything will work like magic. So. What is important is that we have the folder expanded. Now, let me go to Studio. And here I have already a spaceship prepared in the right position. As you can see, there's nothing else except for the ship and our camera. So, no even a floor plane, nothing. So this is just a very empty scene, no lights. What I'm going to do here is to call Reality and I'll click on the Lights tab and here I have my IBL which is currently disabled. Now what I can do here is to enter the name of a file. It's much simpler to just click on the Change button and navigate to that folder, that IBL folder and let me show you what we are going to do. So we're going to go to Desktop IBL and here I have my golden hour and I'm going to just click on the dot IBL file. Once I do that, even though I clicked on the IBL file, we can see that here there is a different name, a different file. This is something.hdr. Well, what Reality does is to open the .ibl file, find all the information about the environment, how it should be set, what is the file that actually provides the background, which is this one here, and then 
it also changes the gamma based on what is stored in the IBL file. We don't need to know. Everything is taken care of automatically. You can see also that the light is being enabled automatically. Now, if we look in studio, the sharp eyed observer will see that something happened, something changed right here. You see the background is different. Now, if I click in here, there is the background from the smart IBL file. Now, I can click on this because it's not just a background it's actually a sphere that is encasing all our environment now this sphere is not rendered it's there just to help us place the background in the most intuitive way uh, so once we can leave the sphere there reality will completely ignore it but the result will be to have a render with exactly the same scenery. So if I click on the IBL sphere and I go to the parameters, I can change the rotation of this, the Y rotation, the vertical rotation, so I can visualize any part of the background that I prefer. And we can see actually there is a sun there. This provides quite a bit of bright illumination as we can imagine. So I'm going to just uh, go back to where I had it because it was a right, or it was a nice uh, setup, just like this. And at this point, very simply, we can just go to reality, click on the render frame button, and that's all there is to do. Let me move Lux in position here. There you go. And here is the scene. Now we can immediately see, even at this point, that the spaceship is illuminated in the right way. Look at the little highlights coming from the sun here. And in a few seconds we'll actually see some of the buildings reflected in the canopy. So this is basically all there is to use any of those smart IBL sets. Point and click simple. All these sets are available. You can download them from hdrlabs.com. They're very nice, very high quality. They provide an, basically a, a great amount of different scenes that can be used immediately. So I'll let this render for a little while. Thank you for watching and happy rendering.